What's up guys, this is Clay. I am the president and owner of Thunder Laser USA. And today we're gonna do a quick little project on acrylic engraving. So we're gonna engrave on acrylic and cut. So in your material pack that came with the laser, uh, you will find sheets of acrylic. This is one of them. I would recommend that you take off the front or one side of the, the masking and leave the other side on uh, because we're gonna engrave on the side that we take the masking off of. We, we just want the cleanest engraving on the front. And then on the back, the masking will help protect from any flare ups or flames or flashback or anything like that that we have. So I'm just gonna take this off. So the first thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about when you're working with acrylic, um, it's good to keep it off the laser bed. So you, we have some material risers. Um, your machine probably came with some type of magnets. These are the ones that I have right now, but any type of object to set underneath this will work fine. So this one, you know, I just need four items to just hold this thing up. So I'm gonna put these down. And then I'm going to set the acrylic on top of it. And let's head over to Lightburn. Okay guys, I'm over here in Lightburn. I'm going to engrave a, a smiley face. So I'm gonna go over to Google and I'm gonna type in smiley face. I'm gonna take this black one. I'll just copy. And then you can literally just copy an image like that and then paste. So what this is now, guys, this is a raster image. Um, so you'll notice as I zoom in on this, you start to see the pixelation here. And what happens, another cool button in Lightburn is this preview. Um, you can actually see this isn't very crisp lines. So, and this gets worse as you make the image bigger. So if you have to resize it, these get worse and worse. So that's a raster image. Uh, you guys should just understand that there's raster images and there's vector images. Um, vector images can be resized and, and they're very precise. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna say trace image and just click okay, just for a simple trace. Um, so there's now this image has been vectorized. So you'll hear that a lot too online, like, oh, I need this image vectorized. Uh, that's what that's what's happening here. They're turning it into vectors. And as I zoom in on this, you now see that these lines are nice and crisp because it's been traced in light burn. Uh, so I'm gonna put the smiley face back in here. If I go back to my preview, now you can see, you know, smiley face with lines and then smiley face with no lines, or it's got lines, but they're very crisp lines. Um, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about that. Uh, the other thing that you notice here, guys, is you get, when, when an image is vectorized, uh, it's gonna have these three options as your mode, fill or line or offset fill. Uh, I, I want to engrave this, but when you bring in a raster image, it's gonna pop up in image mode. And so that's how you know it's uh, a raster image. And then you have some different dithering options you can choose from. I'll get into those later, but again, I just kind of wanted you guys to get familiar with this. I'm gonna run these in the same setting. So I'm running both of them at a thousand millimeters a second and 20% power. Um, actually for acrylic on engraving, I'm gonna turn off the air. You often get better engravings with air off on acrylic. So I'm just gonna turn that off. The other thing I'll talk about guys real quick is mirror engraving. So a lot of the times to get the best results on acrylic, you actually want to engrave on the back side of it. So if you're gonna put text in here, uh, it's often common practice to mirror it. So I just hit this little uh, triangle button up here. And then now I'm just gonna resize all this, to get it a bit smaller. Let's draw a cut line around it, why not? I'm gonna click a different color map or a different color to get a different layer up. And again, I'm engraving uh, the images first and then I'm going to cut them out second. 
This would be a good time, guys, to show you about the material library. So you can manually enter settings here. It's always, that's a good way to do it. But you can also just hop over here to your material library. And this is something, guys, that you can add to. So there's some pre-built uh, settings that you can get. If, if you don't have these, they're in our knowledge base. Just search material libraries. We have quarter inch acrylic in there. So I'm just gonna hit the cut and then I assign that to the layer. And then that automatically adjusts my settings up here. So if you see like now my speed is 12 and my power is 70. So uh, we've got eighth inch in there, assign that, turn the air off that, you know, just a quick way. If you don't know, this is a good starting place too for, um, you know, if you have plywood in there, there's some different uh, engravings for that. Just thought I'd mention that. Go back over to my laser tab here. And once again, I'm gonna do center engraving. I'm going to shrink this down so I don't waste a bunch of acrylic. Yeah, I'm gonna send that over to the machine. And let's go have a cut. Okay, so we're here at the machine, guys, and I'm just going to move the laser head over my acrylic, and I'm gonna hit the autofocus button. And we always need to set our origin before our job, so I'm gonna hit the origin button. That tells the laser that it's going to start the job here, and then it's gonna engrave around it. There's also a button on the LCD that says frame. I'm gonna hit frame, and that's going to tell us where the job is gonna be. That looks like a good place for us to engrave. So I'll hit play. Okay guys, so another good tip is to clean your stuff after it gets engraved. You can do this with wood, basically everything. You might wanna wipe down with something. Uh, LA Awesome is really good. So if we look at these, you can tell that this one was the one that was uh, not vectorized. You can see how it's got little blurry lines around his eyes and stuff you know, around the edge. And this one's much cleaner. Um, that, and it, they're swapped because this, this was our engraving. Um, but yeah, it turned out really good. So I hope that was helpful. We covered a few different things here and we'll see you at the next project.